What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account. Today is day six in Lost Battlefield and I'm currently in the top 10. So today's matchups are going to be really good. Now I'm currently ranked seventh. However, there is two players above a thousand. One's my buddy Rob who sent me a screenshot and actually there's another guy that has like 1,250 points or something. Definitely used an insane amount of cards. So we're actually in ninth place overall. So definitely going to be some good matchups. Now I did make a purchase today and snatched up 30 of those level 9 talent runes, which is insane. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and place these on three of my Lost Battlefield uh, heroes before I get into battle, I believe. We got Skelly that needs one, so now we got a 9 9 Skelly. We also have Storm that needs a 9 9 talent. And we have Mahatma as well. Let me see, where's my hot map? That zealous drive, my hot map. Very nice. All right, so now we got three more nine and nine heroes before Lost Battlefield today. And at the end of this video, I got some events too. What are the events today? We got Smash and Win and Point Arcade. All right, so let's go ahead and get into battle. We need to see above a thousand would really be nice on this refresh. And we got 965. Hmm. We might actually fight that 965. Yeah, I think we're going to. Showing a Levanica. So showing a Levanica 965. Should I go Levanica versus Levanica here and just go crazy with it? Or should I send the Boogeyman team or just completely sacrifice and send my sacrifice team? Yeah, I think I'm going to send the sacrifice team first. And we'll send our Levanica team second then our strong Boogeyman team third. Because sometimes the sacrifice team can come through and actually beat Levanica teams. And if that happens, that'd be pretty huge. It's a pretty good Levanica killer with that Commodore in the back. Come on, what do we got going down here? We got a lot of damage coming out. He does have Dove Keeper alive, and he has Levanica alive. Yeah, so we're not gonna actually gonna we're not gonna succeed. But it was a pretty good attempt. He has Dove and Levanica on the same team, so we got rid of two of his strongest heroes in the first battle. Yeah, we did lose the fight, but we don't have to deal with either one of those guys in either one of these next two fights. So that's definitely big. Come on, die, Reapsta. What are you gonna do? You're doing nothing. There we go. All right, what do we got next here? We got Levanica versus Skelly, and he's got Boogeyman in there. He also has Anubis. He has Ashura too, so that was actually a really good team to uh, take out super fast because our next team has the Instant Kit Man. Bo what do we got? We got Boogeyman Ashura. So basically, our strongest teams come. Well, no, actually, our my Levanica team's the strongest team. I'm tripping, but my Boogeyman team's just as strong as my Levanica team. To be honest, this team is absolutely ridiculous. Watch that Serena in the back. It's already dead. It had revive on it, but it died so quick. Come on, boys. Step up. We got another storm proc, so that was nice. All right, so we got the W, and let's go ahead and move on. That puts us above 1,000, which is not bad at all. And we got 979 Natalia League. Okay, so this looks like a good person to fight. Showing a Ashura. Let's see. Against Ashura, let's go ahead and send our... Ashura squad? Yeah, let's send our Ashura squad see if we can one-shot something in his team. And then we'll send our Levanica team second. So he has Boogeyman in there with Ashura. He, oh my gosh, our team just got one-shot. His Boogeyman came through and smashed our whole team. But then my Boogeyman just stepped up and one-shot his whole team back. Yo, that was crazy right there. That was crazy. Boogeyman literally had no HP there. Ashura had no HP. Somehow he came through with the win. So now we got a Levanica team versus a Levanica team. Both teams are Oracle as well. And we got our Mahatma in the back that needs to dish out damage to his Levanica. And we were able to get it killed. Very nice. All right. So 29 more points. What do we got next? We got 1023, my man, Platoon. Nice. All right. Showing an Athene. I think if anybody's showing an Athene, we pretty much have to send the Boogeyman team. Because Boogeyman should be one shot in Athene all day long. So we'll send Athene. I mean, we'll send our Boogeyman sniper and then... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll send Levanica team second. All right, so he has Athene in there. Yeah, look at that. All his guys just got one shot. The only thing left is Dove, but Dove might be capable of freaking soloing our whole team here. Or does he have something else? Are we attacking Doves? Yeah, it looks like I'm actually attacking his Doves. So we should be able to get this win. Nice. All right, we got, what do we got for our Levanica team here? His Levanica team, I'm guessing? No, it's not, but he does have Boogeyman in the house. And it doesn't look like we got one shot yet. My Serena was able to get one proc off, which was pretty big. And we went ahead and take that, where we took that second win as well. 31 points. Uh, we got 938. We're going to go ahead and try to refresh that. 949, I'm going to refresh that. 937, all right, I'm going to refresh that. 
Yes, 1027 D7X. This is going to be a really tough fight here. This account's definitely maxed out. Showing a Sasquatch. What do we want to do against his Sasquatch squad? Do I want to go assure a boogeyman and go for the snipe? Yeah, let's do that. And we'll send our Sasquatch team second. So he has Skelly in there with the Sasquatch. It's Brawler versus Brawler. And he does have Michael in there. Look at his Skelly in the back. Definitely doing work. All right, we were able to take out the Skelly once. It had revive, and we're about to kill it again. Nice. Got the first win. All right, what do we got second? It is his... It is his boogeyman squad. Oh, man, I should have sent my Levanica team here. Come on, boys, step up. We need to get this second win right here. Let's get this man over with. Nice. That away squad. That's what I like to see. Nice. Saint versus Saint. It's always good when you have the same warden versus the same warden. Then it gives you confidence. Like, okay, this is a fair matchup. It stinks whenever you go opposite warden. It's like, oh, oof. Oh, no. Come on, finish this up. Kill the Reapsters. All right, we got this W. What do we got for the last fight? We got 1023 Brew. I'm pretty sure we have to fight that 1023 because refreshing, we saw a lot of 100s. I mean, uh, 900. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fight that. Showing a Demo Gorgon. I think we're definitely going to go. Demo Gorgon's not auto proc. So, I mean, if we can one shot that Demo with Boogeyman, that'd be great. And we'll send our Sasquatch team in second. So we're looking for a one-shot here. He does have Commodore. We got the one-shot on Demo. That's why we sent the Boogeyman team. That actually worked out perfect. Absolutely ran over his first team. Second team here, we got his Lavanica squad versus our Commodore team. We can get this win. We do need to kill that Storm Eater, and we did. That was very nice. However, oh, his Ashura. Man, that combo of Ashura and Lavanica is just so freaking powerful, man. So powerful. No doubt. Ashur is just such an absolute monster. All right, so what do we got for our last Levanica team? I think it's his Dubkeeper squad. But we're not going to be dealing with a Levanica because it was right there. So what do we got? We do have a Boogeyman and Dubkeeper, though. So we just need to keep our heroes alive. It looks like Serena did get one shot, which is terrible. Now, we do have Mahatma in the back doing pretty good bits of work. Now, yes, we were able to get through. Very nice. Good day of Lost Battlefield there, boys. So we ended the day with 11.28, which is definitely a solid score. Should move us up in the ranks as well. I'll definitely keep you guys updated and post the final day tomorrow. Now, before I end the video, I do have some events I wanted to go ahead and do if you want to see them. I mean, if not, it don't matter. The video is pretty much over. Yeah, Hero Collector? Maybe I should roll one Legend right quick and snatch up that Commodore, too. I feel like Commodore is just waiting on me for my 150. Harpy Queen. All right, let's go ahead and do Smash and Win. I'm thinking maybe, what do I want from Smash and Win? Maybe a Levanica? Augmenting Stone? That's definitely not what I want. Level 3 Prime Crest Box? Okay. Level 4 Prime Crest Box. Level 5. It's like level 3, level 4, level 5. A Spirit to Levanica Bag 1. That ain't bad. Yeah, the more Levanica Bags, the better. Just because I like opening those. It's like, oh, because I actually still haven't gotten the max amount of Levanica Soul Stones from those bags yet. Oh my gosh, I've never gotten 100 from the Levanica Bag 2s, and I've never gotten 30 from the Levanica Bag 1s, which is pretty unfortunate. From this, kind of just cheering for Crest Sets. Vital Boon is okay. There's nothing really that I want to exchange for in the price of. One thing you never land on is Demo and Skelly in this, which is kind of unfortunate because it's not like they're insanely rare dragons anymore. Seems like they'd let you land on those a little bit more. Come on, land on that Demo over there. Land on that Skelly. Got too much. We'll take the Sacred Light instead, though, because really that's a better reward from my main account. We got a Prime Hero card, one. And last but not least, we got a Multanica card. All right, before I end the video, let's go ahead and open up the rewards I got from the Bazaar today. I'm really hoping to get some more level 9 talent runes. We also have 20 of these Prime Insignia chests, which we obviously want to see level 7s. And we saw one level 7 Brute Force, and that is actually the only level 7. That's actually, that's a ton of insignia, so whatever, we'll take the extra bonus. Then we got the Prime Bag 1s, which honestly, you don't really care. Vital Boon. Talent would be nice. Obviously, we didn't get any there, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't even need any of those scraps either. From this, I mean, it is kind of just whatever. Don't even care. Don't need anything on my main from these either, which is kind of crazy. All these bags are getting to be useless besides this Prime Bag 3 for the... I'm going to open up 5 solo, then we'll open up 10 at a time. Come on, baby. Give me those level 9 talent runes. Come on. Three. Two left. Come on. Ten Ashura scraps, which is junk. All right. All ten at the same time. Four. How many level 9? Oh, one. Only one level 9 talent rune, which is kind of rough. We also got 11 
Lavanica bags. Come on. We'll open up one, then ten at the same time. We got a two-piece and how many? Come on. 41. Actually, that's pretty impressive. 41 for 10 of those bags. We'll take that. That is not bad at all. So yeah, that pretty much does it for the video. I think I actually have what it takes to collect another Levanica, which I do. We'll go ahead and snatch that up. So yeah. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. The tomorrow's Lost Battlefield is going to be pretty intense. So make sure to check that out if you do like the Lost Battlefield videos. Because, I mean, we're in, what are we, ranked seventh right now. I got five wins today. Pretty solid players as well. No doubt that we beat points raised pretty high. So I imagine we'd probably be in the top five tomorrow. So make sure to uh, stay tuned as we go for rank one. Anyway, guys, peace out, fellas.